Hi everyone, this is Shannon with Thermaltake and today we're taking a look at the Water 3.0 Extreme S. This is the new Extreme Water 3.0 series cooler that doesn't have software. It relies directly on PWM and so let's go ahead and dig into this thing and we'll show you the differences between the previous Extreme and this new model. Now that we've unboxed the Water 3.0 Extreme S, one thing you'll notice right away is compared to the previous Water 3.0 Extreme, the pump only has a single cable coming off of it. This is just to power the pump. The previous one, you'll remember, had two more fan headers and a USB internal 10-pin header to control the circuit board inside, which gave you all the software control over seeing the pump speed and controlling the fan speed profile. But a lot of users told us they weren't really using the software or they wanted just a simpler plug-and-play solution, so we did that. Now we have a dual PWM splitter, so you can plug this into your CPU fan header. This will allow you full speed monitoring and PWM control over the fans, so as your CPU temperature rises, you will actually get the fans ramping up to control the temperature and keep it cool and quiet so that you have the best experience both audibly and with good thermals. And then we also optimized the uh, backplate solution here so you can see that no longer has the press-in metal retainers. They now slide, so if you have 1366 or 1155, 1150, 1156, they just slide in place, which will keep you from damaging it by possibly having it inserted or over-torquing it. You shouldn't have that issue any longer. And then all the other retention mechanisms are quite similar. And of course, omitting this back plate if you're using LGA 2011. So basically, we just tried to make this kit as easy and plug and play and just super simple to install as possible while still keeping very similar performance to the Water 3.0 Extreme unit, also offering even a better price point than you saw with the Water 3.0 Extreme standard. One important feature I always try to mention when looking at our cooling solutions is we always take special care to look at the fans. Like for instance, this is a double curve fan blade design, which actually helps with very good airflow, but also keeping the audibility much lower so that you don't get some of the extreme fan noise. Now this does have a fan RPM range of 1000 to 2000 RPM. With it cranked to 100%, you can definitely hear it. However, with the PWM fan control, it's never really gonna do that unless you're having some very extreme heat conditions. Otherwise, for the most part, it'll be kept at a very reasonable sound level while still giving you really good airflow and really good cooling. And also, just to note, at max fan speed, these can push up to 99 CFM, which is huge. Thank you for joining us on this quick overview of our update on the Water 3.0 Extreme series to the Water 3.0 Extreme S. This is an amazing cooler, an even better price point, and a much simpler install. If you'd like to join the discussion on this or any other products, feel free to join us on our social media channels or our TT community forums. I look forward to seeing you there, and thank you for watching.